Hello everyone, it's KJ. Welcome back to the Infected. Oh my gosh. I uh, looked up at my screen and it was November. It's been exactly one whole night since the last episode. Uh, so I looked at my settings and they somehow got changed. So I changed them back. I'm, I'm hoping uh, for the best. Uh, but in the meantime, we've got to do a couple of uh, winter preparedness things. And um, where is that wascally raccoon? It's been driving me crazy. Oh, pumpkin. Uh, so to that end, I put in a couple of planters uh, just in the house in there. And uh, we're going to finish the greenhouse here in just a couple of minutes. And we're going to finish the forge about two seconds after that, the first large forge. And, uh, yeah, I think we can do this pretty quickly. It's only 30 glass. I have 40. Uh, I have the nails and I have the copper. So, yeah, let's do it. Uh, first up, we are going to make some winter clothes. Look at this guy. Such a smart aleck. Uh, oh, the, the water's over in the other... <laughs> Uh, these aluminum uh, large flasks, really? Oh, I drank some of it. These uh, aluminum large flasks <clears throat> are an absolute game changer, uh, especially when it comes to planters. They take 100 water to fill, and you need to fill them twice to fully mature a plant. Uh, first, let's make some clothing. We need to get rid of some stuff. Uh, I am hoping that I fixed the time uh, it was uh, reset somehow uh, to 60. Oh, that only gave me four. We need to keep this forge going, but let's do this first. Uh, is there room in there for you? There is. All right, so let's take a look at... Oops. Let's take a look at Itempedia here, and we're going to go down to Armor and Clothes. What you need for winter... Uh, is a winter coat and snow pans. And so both those things take plant fiber and uh, feathers and they can made on the regular workbench. So let's start with the pants. We need 20 fibers and 12, um, uh, yeah, 12 feathers. <laughs> so we're going to hold down shift and then we're going to left click and drag the fiber over and drop it. And for some reason, always leaves one behind. I have no idea what's up with that. 20 fibers, and we're going to do the same thing. Uh, 12 feathers, and there's our snow pants. And they automatically go on, so you're going to want to watch out for that. Because it's not cold enough um, to have these clothes on quite yet. So let's drop a storage crate, and uh, we will transfer our clothes out uh, off of our body. <laughs> oh goodness! <laughs> Let go of me. <laughs> You're gonna fit this time. Hey, look at that! There we go. Uh, we'll also make a clothing rack pretty soon. I want to get these other things done first. But a clothing rack will uh, make it so that we can just hang clothes up. We won't have to take them off first. Uh, oh, there's a Bambi. Uh, okay, now let's make a snow coat. And once again, we'll look at Itempedia. And the snow coat is 25 feathers and 10. And so we need more feathers. Uh, it's 34 and 10. I'm going to hold shift, drag it over, and drop it. And we'll go down here, 20, 3, 4, 5. And once again, uh, we'll just knock that down to 10. Did I get that backwards? I think I did. <laughs> That's why I use it. Uh, 20, I think I got it exactly backwards. Uh, yeah, okay. Here we go. Uh. <laughs> uh. 
and uh, all of those and one more there we go and now uh, once again it goes right on and we'll have to clear some space uh, to take it off and we will go put it in that box and you can get a couple more things along the bottom but basically this is just going to be winter clothes uh, I don't know period in two spaces good grief uh, the uh, the opposite is also true there are times in the summer uh, when it is super hot and there is clothing available to protect you from that heat. I've never used it, really, but you can. Uh, or you can go swimming, uh, or you can go inside your greenhouse, and uh, I'm out of rocks too. Uh, or you can go inside your greenhouse, which is always 23 degrees, and uh, work from there. All right, let's get uh, all of that that we can which is super duper heavy. <laughs> uh, let's see, that's not gonna help, is it? No, carrying too much weight. There we go. And you just watch that weight go down and there we go. And we need nine more. That Bambi is skulking around. Oh, let's see, that's uh, five, eight, and nine. Oh, boy. I missed one of these guys, did I? Come here, because I need whatever you're carrying. This is uh, super helpful in early game uh, to get stuff from the Vambies. We got that one aluminum ore. Uh, we've also gotten uh, arrows and copper and bandages from them. Uh, oh, I went the wrong way. And that was actually just fat, but that's okay. And that is there. Now we need eight copper and 60 nails. And I have the nails over here. There's 50. Uh, do I need more nails? Uh, I do need more nails. All right. <laughs> you can uh, build macros if you're into that kind of stuff. Uh, you can build macros that will just uh, take care of that for you. Uh, just a send all kind of uh, macro. Like, I need all of those things to go in there. There we go. Now you can see, uh, maybe you can see, in the upper right corner there, it's 9.5 degrees. And uh, if we go in here, it is instantly 23. This is a um, column of heat. So if you put this on top of a building, uh, the uh, area underneath it will also be 23 degrees which is a good argument for a flat roof, by the way. Uh, you can uh, also put a floor above it. It will not affect the greenhouse to be completely under cover um, with no sunshine. Uh, and that will heat the floor above and below. Uh, so yeah, let's, um, I'm not sure if you can move uh, these things with plants in them. I don't think so. So we'll just uh, get some more water and um, we'll make some more uh, planters. We're not starving to death yet and um, we totally have the ability to still go get plants out in the wild. You can also put a platform in here, you know. So I mean we could um, grab a foundation and we'll just drop that down to the floor and turn it. it needs to come up a little bit. It should fit in here. Uh, I had it green stated for a second. There it is, right there. So you can drop a platform uh, inside your greenhouse if you want to and uh, put stuff that has to be on a platform. Like if it's if winter has come upon you all of a sudden, like it did for me, 
we can move our forge into the greenhouse and our bed or whatever and just uh, live in here. That's something that we can do. I just deleted that by hitting the delete key right on my keyboard. All right, the forge needs bricks. We made the bricks on the last episode. And um, I'm just going to put dirty water in them. And that one doesn't actually need any more water. But we'll go ahead and do it anyway. Um, bricks. So we need 50. That is way too much weight. And here we go. There's 20. Can't carry very many, huh? Is it because of my food? Oh, it might be. <laughs> uh, oh, I did let it burn out. I've been really good about this until I hit record, and then I'm uh, completely completely fumbling around, I guess. Uh, one thing that I will tell you uh, ahead of time is that you, you need to have some water going into winter. Uh, the flasks are absolutely the best way to do that. We'll refill these. I don't know why I use both of them. And um, uh, because until it actually snows, before the water, after the water is frozen and before it snows, um, you're going to struggle with water. Oh, I already had it. Awesome. I'll put that in there and drink this. I think this is dirty. Oh, that's clean. Okay. Well, that's all right. That's super. Uh, another thing you want to do before winter is get a couple of boxes of fish. Don't fillet the fish. Just leave it like this. It says fish. You can see right there, I hope you can see this. It's not that, it's really tiny. It still has 12 hours and 45 minutes left on it. So depending on uh, how much you play, um, that's probably enough to get through winter. You just need to have the number of days covered. Uh, I can't use an arrow. There we go. No, oh, it broke. <laughs> Apparently arrows can't go through either. I'm going to shut him up, I hope. <sighs> that Bambi snuck up on me. I didn't even see him coming. <laughs> Ah, they keep stealing my arrows. How many now? 29. Oh my gosh. All right, so let's finish that forge. I have the nails I need to make. I'll put this stuff away. 22. We're almost at 25 there. Oops. What in the world did I do? Here. How do I have, <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to do something here. Oh, it's bricks that I need. Okay, that's what I did. <laughs> I got totally distracted. There's 46 pounds. I could just carry the box over there, you know. Probably take a lot less time. <laughs> 10 more, and then we'll have a forge. And we will fire that up. And uh, you can tell when they're ready because when you hang your uh, pointer over them, they, they say harvest or they say E to interact. All right, forge number one is done. Let's uh, grab some firewood. Oh, I guess I'm still using sticks. I need to... Uh, Organize a firewood brigade. <laughs> I uh, also have coal because I had the um, I had the extractor over here sitting on the copper uh, for a while, and uh, it gave me coal a few times. 
All right, let's see here. We also have one of those and some of those. That's all glass. We can change this to uh, iron. We'll rename instead of moving. And we'll just rename that. There we go. What else do we have in here? Uh, I got four screws from a Bambi. That was cool. I've burned through two stone blades. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> uh, we need something to cook. So let's get rid of these. We're going to delete, confirm, and now we have a ton of stone, probably too much. There we go. And we'll come over here to the forge and put in those and those and as many of those as we can get in and then we'll fire that up that's full <laughs> and uh, so yeah we can start taking these out um, still waiting on these guys oh there we go see how the cucumber says that to expand there we go and the potatoes aren't ready because they never quite got as much water so we'll come in here and you can see, I kind of built this on a hillside, so it's going to do this, this little weirdness. That does not affect your plant growth, nor does it affect the temperature in here. So that's not a problem. It's only a problem for the visual. And you can, by the way, uh, you can't move fast when you're uh, crawling. So you can, by the way, just pick it up and move it. You don't like where it is? Just move it. If you want to stop moving it, just hit tab, and it's right back there. Okay. All right. Let's get a couple more. I think we can drop that and the nails. And uh, the forge is far much. It it is more quick. It's faster. Wow. <laughs> The brick forge is faster, and it also conserves fuel a little bit better. It doesn't burn through quite as fast. Uh, what's next? We need rocks. Uh, we need a couple more planters. And we need to get to work, I think, on, um, on the Roman villa. It is going to be... Uh, oh, I forgot to make the fuel. Goofball. I like that it's going to be um, a long build. Can you go over there? Thank you. Um, because I enjoy the building aspect in the game. And uh, when you consider the extra threat of Vambies and uh, Predators, it uh, also makes it challenging. And uh, so I like that. Yay! We just gained another health point, so we're up to 103. Uh, stamina, we're going to have to, like, eat a couple more things, I guess. I don't know what else is going to do it. Uh, we can read there. This one only increases health. The potatoes increase stamina. There we go. There's another point of stamina. Very cool. Uh, what did I just say we had to do? We have to put in a couple of planters. I like the proximity to water here. That's pretty good. All right. Uh, place bowls, oops, food, and planters. Uh, unless you are planning on, um, I don't know, the apocalypse, you really don't need very many of these. Uh, I'm not ready to start canning food and cooking things. So probably I just need a couple. Uh, like I said, it only takes two waterings um, to uh, get the plant done, to get the plant grown up and harvestable. So it's not a huge thing. Uh, the biggest part of building these, of course, is the nails. And God almighty, really? This one little seed. <laughs> uh, let me out of here. This place is crazy. Hi. 
Sup? Uh, you could go over there to the spikes. There you go. There you go. That, that'll end it for you more quickly. Dude, your neck looks broken. What's up with that? You're gonna be okay? Oh. Guessing you're not gonna be okay. So, what did we get that time? Aluminum. Nice. I like the presents. Here we go. Alright. A couple more of these. And then we should have some nails. I picked up too many planks. How many do I have? Enough for one more. We'll do one more. There we go. All right, how is this going? Now, uh, over here on the side of the screen, over there, is a take all button. There's uh, 20 more uh, nails right there. We can put that back in. And I wonder if we can use that as fuel. Darn, missed opportunity. <laughs> I think it'll fit somewhere. Yeah, it'll fit right there. There we go. Cool. All right. Anvil is back there. Grab those. We'll grab these six. And are you ready? What is your issue, dude? Uh, clean water. It never got filled the first time. And so <laughs> it's going to need a little extra uh, nails. Yeah. How many do I have left? Just two. We'll put them in there. All right, let's grab a couple of seeds. And uh, I'm, oops, a couple, I said. <laughs> like three cucumber plants and uh, the rest melon. I like the potatoes because, of course, they last forever. Uh, but melons give you energy, and cucumbers heal your wounds. And uh, we could make a torch and go get some mushrooms out of the scorpion cave. <laughs> that needs stuff in it. Uh, I don't have very much. How many is that? Uh, two, four, six. Let's drop off the copper and grab the aluminum. There's probably uh, one thing in there. <laughs> uh, there we go. And that is not quite full. I need to go gather rocks. And what I could do is just have this take rocks, extract uh, stone only. And that'll be a little bit faster. Then I won't get fragments. Uh, uh, I also won't get the actual iron ore, but that's okay. All right, where are we at here? We got our winter clothes. Um, we have food. We have plenty of food, actually. All right, let's see here. That's almost full. How about spoilage? Uh, spoilage has some room in it. If I do that, we'll take that. And we will go fishing. You can carry a lot more uh, fish inside of a storage crate <laughs> than you can on your person. Uh, how are you doing? Oh, that's going to break, isn't it? All right, one more trip back unless I can find a rock. What is happening? Oh, I thought that, oh, it is sticking in the ground a little bit. Let's do this. We'll cut down a tree. <laughs> That'll get my stamina back. <laughs> and provide us with the sticks. And there's a stone right there. All right. We'll just grab that.
and open our personal crafting board and make a stone blade. And uh, if you look in Itempedia, over there, stone spear, one blade, three sticks, five fibers. Oops, hit the wrong button there. Uh, three sticks, one, two, uh, three, one a blade, and uh, we'll split that in half, and five fibers. And we can't make it yet because uh, this one is still... There it is. That one's still there. <laughs> so here we go. Stone spear. All right. Now we can go fishing. I'll probably do more fishing before winter actually hits, but this will freeze over. And um, then we will have to struggle really badly to fish. It's it's not easy to get, um, hey, come here. Supposed to be a fish, not a squirrel. <laughs> Where's my box? Where did my fish go? I guess I picked it up. I thought it was a tuna. I don't have a lot of room here for a tuna. So if I did pick up one already and I dropped it, I'm sorry. <laughs> Fiddly sticks. Come here. <laughs> I did drop one. There we go. I thought I caught a tuna. It will stay on the bottom of the pond for five minutes. So if you think that you dropped something, take a look. And look at you, smart Alec. Oh look, it's a Vambi. Give me more fishes. Uh, oh my god. Oh, I dropped another one. All right. There's just too much stuff going on in here. Come here. And let's go pick up that salmon. Uh, yeah. It's down here somewhere. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> or salmon. <laughs> Tuna. <laughs> So we have a another box that's like completely full. Why are you stalking around my Roman villa? Did you steal my arrow? E to add material. I think you took my arrow. I don't see it. I just see, like, roots and stuff. Yeah, okay. Let's get this stuff home. And that pumpkin, too. Uh, can I not pick that up? Yes, I can. There we go. <laughs> Let's carry something in my magical hand. <laughs> How long has this pumpkin got? An hour and 32. All right. So we have uh, some fish here. And uh, eventually it will be spoilage, but at this point it's fish. And we need to do some kind of rearranging here, it looks like. I know you fit there. Okay. I have plenty of food for right now. So we'll bung that in there, as they say. And we'll grab that. More potatoes. I do like my potatoes. All right. Uh, now we just need a little bit of iron and water. 
and uh, we are set. And we've got a safe house for both summer and winter. We've got our forge going, and uh, when I'm paying closer attention to it, I'll probably use coal. But uh, I need to be paying much, much better attention to it. Let's put that in there. We have a few extra supplies, and uh, we're pretty well uh, set up to um, start building mineral extractors and distributing them. Uh, aluminum is right here, and copper is right here. This is the best place to start the game. You have a village south of you, a village north of you. The fishing right here on the other side of the highway right there is um, the best in the game. And all of this is super close. Uh, when you go to get your blueprints, though, this is quite a long haul, these ones here. Uh, but we'll get it done. And um, just a little bit of an interruption there uh, in our game because uh, for some reason um, this reset, it says it's November, even though it should still be August. Um, and I don't exactly know why it reset. I did go into a different save uh, briefly to take a couple of pictures. Uh, the other save did have different settings, but I don't think I've ever had my game set to sh such a short year. So uh, I probably just made a mistake when I was setting it up, and that happens. And uh, you can fix it, fix it, excuse me, uh, in your um, options at the beginning of the game. Uh, you can fix that. So, all right, you guys, I want to thank you all so much for coming along. Super duper greenhouse and brick forge. We've got an extractor. Uh, our entire floor over there uh, just needs planks. And then we can start building walls. And um, getting wood is going to be what it's all about pretty soon. Uh, I want you all to have an amazing day. And please do enjoy this game questions and comments below, and thank you. Bye-bye.